Hi guys and welcome back to our second part of our font layer styles. Okay, so let's go over and create now our last text font style over here at the bottom, which we basically, we can actually turn on our Photoshop here and our previous Photoshop one. Okay, like that. And let's create our Photoshop style from here from the bottom. Then again, very simple, I'm going to go over to my text tool again and also going to select a text selection here again and write Photoshop once again. So over here, Photoshop wrote that again. As you guys can also see directly, my font changes again. This is a ballpark font. If you want to search for it on the web, you can also find it at thefont.com. Okay, so first of all, what I want to do, what doesn't look so nice in our top font here, I want to basically go into my characters here at the top and then also take my spacing and just base that together to zero so all of these equals here just merge together a little bit better okay so keep that at zero here and I'm happy with that going to deselect that again and we are accepting our new text type okay so now we have our text I'm going to just move that a little bit down again First of all, going to double click again to get into our layer styles. And first of all, what we want to do is just add a normal gradient overlay to this. So let's select the gradient overlay. As you guys can see already, it changes again. Now what we want to do is still keep the blending mode to normal, the opacity to 100 and the gradient also fading from black into white. Linear style, linear grading style and also now change our angle just a little bit more. So we have that a little bit more fading from 35 percent then as i can see it's not completely black so let's go into the gradient tool again and also from our color picker down here double tap on the small arrow and we can then again select a very lighter gray it's a little bit darker or we can actually keep that completely to black so i'm going to cancel all of this and what i'm going to do is just take my opacity down here just a little bit okay yeah that's exactly where we're getting now so over here, just take the opacity down a little bit and you can see that the blacks also go a little bit lighter already and merge a little bit in with the background color. Okay, now the next step that we're going to do is go to Outer Glow to create this really nice Outer Glow effect. So let's select Outer Glow. First of all, we're going to keep the blending mode to screen, opacity at 80%, noise, we don't wish to add any noise. Then our foreground color over here should be a complete white, so select the complete white. Elements, we're going to work with that in a moment. First of all, we're going to go to quality and under quality, we are going to choose the preset here with the two hills. So we're basically creating a nice double outer glow border. Okay, so double tap on that. We're going to keep the range and jitter to 50 and 0. And we're going to go back to our elements. So under elements, we're going to go to precise. And we're going to tweak that to one or two pixels over here, our spread and our size up to around 16 to 18 pixels. Let's keep it at 18. As you guys can also already see, we're already almost there. Going to hit OK now, and now we already have the same effect as we had before. Okay, so let's create our last Photoshop text over here, which is the rounded and warped text. So pretty simple to do that as well. I'm just going to move that up all the way. Okay, and also going to blend out our other Photoshop layer here. Okay, let's go back to our pretty Photoshop one. I'm just going to move it a bit higher. And now very simple to create this. First of all, what we need to do is go to our pen tool here on the right hand side and just create a pen path. So first of all, I'm going to put an anchor point over here and a second one over here. Then going to drag a really nice round shape and also going to create one over here and also create a round shape again. So over here we have a kind of a wave path and now on that I can go back to my text tool over here, select my text tool and now very simple I can just go with the text tool, move over the path and directly you see the text type tool appearing with a small wave inside of it. Basically just hover over it and select it then your text tool is directly snapping to your path. So now you're actually able to write there pretty Photoshop, okay, so over here Photoshop, and it's a little bit too big, so I'm going to select all of that, make my text tool a little bit smaller, okay, and now also going to choose between a new font style, but before I do so, I'm just going to accept that, first of all, just going to select my old one over here, and it, it's called Brand Ball Small, so I'm going to select that as well, 
Okay, deselect here at the top, go back and select my pretty Photoshop over here with Command A, select all of that. We're going to go back to our font styles here at the top and now we're going to search for the brand ball small. So over here, just a little bit down and we have here brand ball feet and brand ball small. Okay, select that, it's still a little bit too big, so let's make that a little bit smaller. And there we go, accept that from the top and directly you'll see we created also the pretty Photoshop in a kind of a wave shape. No tools were like warp were used or anything or anything from the top here with our whooping text. I did everything straight from a pen path. Okay, so let's just blend everything off again so we have our normal pretty Photoshop over here from the top. Let's take that down. We have our normal Photoshop over here with our double outline glow. We have our Photoshop layer here from the top and we have our other Photoshop layer. Okay, so that was my quick tutorial showing you guys quickly how to create these four different text font styles. If you guys wish to know more about this, please feel free to write me an email to team at manyphotography.co.za. Glad to help you with your questions. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching and see you all in my next few tutorials.